It is customary, um, the last speaker of the night uh, is someone that uh, has been thanked quite a bit tonight. And all the people that have thanked him are 100% correct because when we started the Athletic Hall of Fame, our sports information director, Mark Mentone, was a catalyst in not only how the program would run, but taking great pride in notifying the, the student athlete, the contributor, whomever, that they had been inducted. He took a lot of pride in that. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce our sports information director, Mr. Mark Mentone. Thank you, Jared. I see a lot of tired faces out there. We get a triple header tomorrow. I have no interest in extending the night too much, but I'm up here because this event has become tradition on the campus. I'm very proud of that. And apparently, without me knowing it, part of the tradition has become this speech to the point where when Brendan Monaghan took over as the chairman of this event, he said to me, one of the first things he said to me was, I am going to do this, but you are still making the speech at the end. So, here I am. And that's the first person I want, there are some thank yous, but that's the first person I want to, I want to thank you and recognize because Brendan Bonnicum had to deal with a lot of things that I didn't have to deal with running this event. He had to go to a lot of meetings that I didn't have to go to. He took care of so many details with it being on campus this year for the first time. And I want to recognize him for all the work he did putting this event together. to make this event work on campus like this. It's not easy. It's not, definitely not as easy as the whole week. They made it look easy, but believe me, it wasn't very easy to pull this off on campus this year. President Crawford, I want to thank you for joining our tradition this year. Your words of wisdom were, were well received, and I, I thank you for, for just being a part of it, being part of our community. Uh, every year, I like to thank Commissioner Mara because Commissioner Mara has 13 schools under his purview, plus the conference office that he runs. He is now eight for eight attending this event. Thank you very much, Commissioner Mara. As you see tonight, our, our honorees have a common thread that they set a standard. They set a standard for our athletes to follow and for our faculty and staff to follow. Um, quick story about the 0910 basketball team. They cost me a trip to Florida. I think family well. um, while they were making their comeback against Phil U, I had a bad attack and I was supposed to go with the baseball team to spring break. Um, I called Chris at halftime and I said, Chris, I think I'll be there because they were uh, down by a lot of points. And then I had a call that, and then I went from doing that to interviewing Devon Young and the Bleachers. So uh, Chris had to keep that ticket. He wasn't very happy, but uh, I think he got over it eventually. Um, uh, I don't think, I, I don't think um, the average sports fan appreciates how difficult it is in an individual sport to go undefeated for a season, like Rob Alabama did his senior season in cross country. It's one thing for a team sport to, to win all their games, but for a cross country guard to win all his beats, he has to beat every single, he has to beat like 100 people every single race. And that's not an easy thing that Rob did. That's one of the, the most amazing single seasons in our school history in any sport. And for Rob to have accomplished that his senior season was one of the, was the most amazing things that I've been a part of, and he was a publicist's dream that year. Um, Sierra, you don't remember this, but Sierra Clark, her junior year, hit 455, I think I asked to help in a program like that, but her, she came out of Florida hitting about 510, okay? So our first conference game is against a school called Dominican in our conference. Coach of Dominican is a guy named Joe Burbridge, a lot of you may know. Uh, Joe's an interesting guy. Um, so we're at the first home game, and Sierra's up, and she hits a ground ball, the shortstop, their shortstop boots it for an error, and here goes Joe. That girl's hitting 500. 500! We get her here, ground ball, the shortstop, and we still can't get her out. So Sierra was in a lot of people's minds that year. So that, that, that's, my, that's my lasting memory of Sierra was 
fact that other coaches kind of, you don't really game plan for anybody in softball, but, but he was, he, she was in opposing coaches' heads that year. Uh, Eric, it's, I didn't get to watch you play. I was at another school while you were playing here. It's been a pleasure to get to know your family. Um, and one thing that stuck out to me is that obviously the biggest reason why you're on this podium tonight is because of your ability as a ball player. The second biggest reason is because of the meticulous record keeping of Coach Ed Ward. <laughs> and I dare say that if Ed Ward was a softball coach, your wife might beat me up here. <laughs> because she was pretty good and we're still trying to piece it all together and someday we're going to do it and figure out all those missing statistics that we have. Uh, and that's, that's one of my goals, is to kind of figure out all the archives that we're missing. Um, the thing you need to know about me is Donnie, is that years later, not just the three guys that are here tonight, but I talked to teammates of his, and they still call him Cap, as in Captain. That's the respect that, his, that the teammates have for him, that these guys are in you know, regular jobs, they're far from, far from removed from their college careers. They talk, when they talk about Mickey, they say, oh yeah, Cap. That's how they remember Mickey's dummy. And I, when I started working here, I just, the other day I just got a 15 year award, as uh, Devon mentioned. Uh, Sister Teresa was still the president, and I, and I take with me, not just for the faculty, but for staff like me, she challenged the faculty and staff to draw the full potential out of every student. Doesn't matter their background, doesn't matter their uh, ability as a student, she challenged us to, to draw the potential out of every student that comes to Felicia University, and I take that with me to work every day. Um, I'm amazed by tonight's turnout pleasantly. I'm so happy that you all came to celebrate with us. Um, I, was at a I was at a function where I got the award on Wednesday. President Crawford remarked that so many people have told him that Felicia's a hidden gem. It's folks like you guys that make it the gem that make us the gem that we are, and hopefully it'll be folks like you guys that someday will make us not so hidden. Thank you so much. <laughs>